talking about warriors at the top of their game. Football, man. I mean, that's real physical. Football. Football, football, man. That ain't real football, kid. These sports reporters don't even know what they're talking about. Look, Jackson, rugby. Now that's one real deal. That's what I'm talking about. All right, you guys, come on now. Even though, Cole's got a point. Of course I got a point. We're get broken in rugby, really. <laughs> This French one, I think there's something out here next to me, like like a UFO. And it sounds like he's saying something. Man, if this is a UFO, I'm gonna take him out. There goes the Metro Man. I know. Here we go. I'll shoot him down and drag him out of his UFO thingy, punch him right in the face, just like Will Smith did in Independence Day. That is, if he's got a face. Negative goal. Tour and scale. and retro.
I, 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 I just, I just can't get it right. I don't know what she wants. What am I supposed to do? There is a UFO. Hold up. You're not gonna believe me. There is a UFO. I'm serious. Look. What? All joking aside, today is a special day because I would like to know. You're not gonna believe this. There's another one right there behind you, right behind you, right there. I always see the clouds and the sun and the blue sky. What are you... Sweetie, I'm not lying to you. You know what? You're always fooling around and making jokes and you just ruined a perfectly beautiful moment. I'm wait, done. Wait, 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 wait. Come back. I also had an important question to ask. It's a great weather outside, Dr. Ayer. Are you nervous? Of course I'm nervous. I mean, you know, this is as close as I'll come to interacting. Don't you worry, there are cerebral and civil folk. Yeah, well, I guess that remains to be seen. We have so much to offer, everything and anything. They should be so tickled. Tickled? Now that's funny. Can you imagine that? Imagine them giggling and laughing? <laughs> <laughs>
do I owe you? That'll be forty-two seventy-five, please. Here you go, pal. Keep the change. I have money for you. or that way, depending on a number of factors that exist. What you've been learning kicks in at such times. And empathy is part of that learning. Is your arm all right? Yeah, yes. Thank you, teacher. So, I heard around headquarters that you had a special upbringing. Something like beyond belief. Can you tell me about that? I mean, unless it's confidential, of course. Well, it is a bit beyond belief, actually. How do you mean? I mean, how beyond can it be? Try to my hand. What are you doing, Tisha? What does this mean? My story is beyond your reach. Yes, Tisha. Host! Some friends. They're gonna be coming soon. 
That's fine. What are their names? Tom and Dan. That's fine. That's fine. <clears throat> Terrific. The address has commenced. Relax, doctor. I got it. I'm not here by accident, you know. What does that mean? I mean, come on now. You know, it's not the first encounter. These guys have been here forever, and we are not strangers to that business either. Wow, that's a new one. It's strangely comforting, though. You never fail to impress me, Doctor. Well, well let's, let's not, not go crazy, crazy. Yeah. yet. Okay, let's do this. Oh, there is one now. Good evening. Are you with the party? Are you Tim? Tom, yes. Oh. Right this way? So, how was your flight? Different, in a distinctly interesting sense. I haven't come this way before, but the traffic was facilitating and the weather conducive. Weather? Yes, the weather was conducive. Was made conducive? Electromagnetic impulses transmitted via... No, no, that's fine. Understood. That will be topic for our comprehensive written presentation. We will discuss that kind of stuff more elaborately later on. Yeah, right now we we'll just want to welcome you, throw a few things at you. I mean, offer a few suggestions and feed you some of Brooklyn's finest food stuff. Good evening. Are you Tim? Tim, Tim yes. Yes, I am. Right this way. Shortly. Simple H2O. Not so simple. Complex array of organisms inhabiting a malleable microstructure mixed in a metallic matrix of alloys producing electro double conductivity. Okay, okay, all right already. Sheesh. Whoa. You are welcome. Do you guys think you, you, you could be interested in real alloy, gold and silver and stuff? You might, Rabbit, you might. No, just kidding. We're good. We have mined elements nearby. Other curious matters interest us. Please, share. Don't hesitate to ask. Don't be shy. Our planet is your planet. Mi planeta, su planeta. Take a look out there and see what might be interesting to you. We tend to look inside more than outside. We're interior beings, thinkers, feelers. Okay, so what do you feel? I'm feeling some of these kinds right here. They are freaks, doctor. They are just freaks looking to get their intergalactic freak show on, that's all. Whoa! 
No, no, they, they're interior beings. D didn't you hear them? Yeah, they want to get interior into this piece, all right? We think very highly of the female-human psychodynamic. We're not that familiar. You're exquisite and complex creators and bearers of offspring. Wow, you're deep. Well, since you put it that way, how can we refuse? The contribution will be most valuable to our community, and we are prepared to consider your request. Grant us various. Sirs, this we can do. Waitress, Karen. What's going on? Oh, just feeling good with the positive energy in the air tonight. You guys ready to order? Yes, I'd like to try the oyster vermicelli. I'd like to try some water from her mouth. I think I see a UFO. Then because of all this news, this is an interesting time to be in this field. This is quite an exciting development. I mean, you know, from what Dr. Misha seems to be indicating. It also sounds like he is a turning point in his career. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and how is that? He's given you the keys and told you to start the experiment today without him. Are, are you being promoted or something? All, all, are, are you going to be our new boss? All I know is he seems to be anxious about meeting some sort of big boy. I thought we were the big boys. Yeah. How much bigger it does it get? Yeah, I thought that too. Uh, don't we call the shots? That, don't we run the that, show? Aren't we the pioneering that, big boys? That's what I used to think too, but apparently these are some really big, big boys that are going to contribute something a little extra special to our cabinet of curiosity. <laughs> oh, sounds creepy. <laughs> creepy curiosities. Ooh. Hey, Joe. What's up with you? You look like you just seen a ghost. Get a life already, man. Sheesh. Darn, that Joe's so depressing. What a waste. Yeah, another creepy curiosity. He gets me mad. Ah! Wow, did I do that? Looks like you've been dipping into the cabinet of curiosities, Dr. Suresh. You did a monster mash. <laughs> the monster mash? <laughs> well, yeah, we're all gonna dip into the cabinet of curiosity at some point. You're scientists after all. Oh, well, I don't think ever, never did that, never will. Never will. No, oh, no, sir. <laughs> Creepiness, monsteriness. Ooh <laughs> yes, that is a little scary, Doctor Suresh. With a great gift comes great responsibility. No. Point well taken. OK, 
King, let's get to work. Look at our new building. I love it. We build big and the big boys did come. Sounds amazing. Just fine, Fly. Fanny, the agency knows what it's doing. And the chief certainly knows what he's doing. You're ready, baby. You're more than ready. Your recommendation probably counted a lot. Well, of course, but from the beginning they knew you were talented. The questions you asked in class. Yes, Fly? The hero chose an unorthodox course because the normal was too predictable. You're right, student Fly. But again, you're getting ahead of me. Your knowledge of the books. There are actually two unauthorized versions of this work. Really? I didn't know that. Then there's your physicality in the dojo. Hoos! Hoos! Fly, that's how you can defy linear logic as we understand it. Transcending our physical laws, you can seem to fly. You got me good there. Twice. Oos! Oos! Oh. And you have a unique diet of superfoods. Don't forget the raisins. Oh, yeah. Have you been faithful with those recipes? Oh yeah, they've made me sharper and stronger. And prettier? <laughs> yes, definitely! And prettier! That too? 
That's why they say Agent Ken is a bad. There's a lady present. Of course. Anyway, he'll be glad to tell you himself. That's one thing about our man Cat. He's definitely got a story. Yeah, see. Like that. Okay. Welcome. Please enjoy the new auto rise feature. We will be arriving at the destination in just a moment. I'm still feeling a little intimidated. You and your story and more? But you know, it's the cat. Who would have? Yeah, but he's all human. You'll see that right away. You're getting it. It's all about rhythm and repetition. And of course, feeling and passion. Down and across, special gizmos. Well, it'll take some time, but I'm feeling it. I feel really comfortable with you teaching me too. When you feel really comfortable with your partner, you can get in a little closer and move a little slower. Something like this. Special Agent Fanny Fly, eh? We hope your experience has been pleasant. Yes, uh, very, very. Thank you. Thank you. And please, sit lively. Sir! Sir. Okay, he's almost here. Relax, kids. Now let me show you a little something, something. Good to see you. This is Agent Fly, your new partner. Wow, what did I do to deserve that candy? Tony, listen, she'll be leading this one. You know I work alone, Chief. Everybody knows that. The cat walks alone. Since when do cats travel in packs? You've heard of the rat pack, but not the cat pack. So the kiss was to soften me up. I hope it works because this is different. I told you there's a special situation going on. And this one here? She's definitely special. Well, okay, if you say so. Give me what you got. Is that it? Where's the briefcase we used to get? Where's all the hidden weapons and gadgets? The pen, the shoes, the cell phone? It is a whole new world out there, Tony. This is your welcome back. But don't worry, there's always a place for those basic things. In fact, have you been practicing? Still got game? Brother, please. I'm from Brooklyn. I was born with game. Check and mate. <laughs> sir, it's line one. Here you go, sir. Hey, give me! Give me! I'm the director of communication. Phone is my responsibility. I want to do it. Yeah, well, I'm the chief's personal assistant and I have more power than you, sister. Oh, yeah, right? Yes. Yeah, right? Girls, girls, girls. You see what I have to put up with, Tony? This goes on every day. I'm sorry, Samuel. I mean, sir. I mean, Alejandro. I mean, Chief. <sighs> I'll get him back. Sir? Sorry about that, sir. Yes, it is them again. Okay, sir. Yes, he's right here. All right. Hey, Barack. <laughs> I know. <laughs> okay, bro. I mean, sir. All righty, later. Thank you, girls. I mean, ladies. I'll talk to you later. Me, right? No, you'll talk to me later, right? The both of you, sheesh. The both of us. In the próxima vez, te digo que te voy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Talkie, talkie, talkie. Talkie, talkie, talkie. So we're set? Yeah, we're set. We're always set. Did he mention me? 
No. <laughs> not a hint, not at all. Don't worry, I got you in this far. It's good. Let's go chill and go through the jail. Chief, talk to you later. Peace. Very cool, you know. 
He gave me this watch. Can I see? Yeah. Isn't it supposed to say a gift from the office of? It only says a gift from the president. I got it like that. Sir Cat. Oh, come on. Cut that out. Just call me Tony, please. All right. Um, I know we just met and everything, and it's too soon to take confidence with you, but... I know, I know. You want to know what I was laughing at on the phone? How do you know? I'm deep, girl, haven't you heard? Oh, yeah. And if you don't tell me, I'll be guessing all through the week. He called me player. That's nothing new. A lot of people are all players. You dance a dance, you play a game of life. Well, it's the way he said it. Bopping his head with attitude. Player with a big smile. How do you know he moved his head? Well, he always does. Really? He loosens up around me. Everybody loosens up around me. Whoa. Well, now I know. Now I can sleep. You lowly, good-for-nothing, stupid, trashy, dumb. What are you doing chatting on FB? We're supposed to be perusing the crime scene locations. Let's not waste precious minutes. Wait a moment, please. Just give me a sec. Why you want to do things your way? I think you are so little, and I think you are nothing. Get out! Ah, Son of a... I'm going to the church. Wow, that little girl was the most dangerous. The sweet and innocent looking little darling with her charming face was the volatile danger. Wow, what a lesson. <sighs> okay, sorry about that, but, um, you know, certain chats are important, really important. Hmm, another fly. A net fly. What do you have over there? Are you watching Men in Black? What are you, a fan of Will Smith? Sci-fi or what? Well, it's just a good movie, that's all. A lot of lessons there. The one that looked like a little angel was the bad guy. Of course, and it works the other way too. How do you mean? Well, the scary are often softies. So like I'm always telling everybody, God is love. God is kind. God is gentle and tender. And he is sweet and he makes us nice to people. But there is providence of God, and he sometimes may permit the devil to hurt us. But the devil is bad, and he uses bad people to do bad things. My arm got hurt. Mm, well, mm, it doesn't matter how. But God, God will help me and heal me because he loves me. Come on, people. She didn't feel good today. Pray for her. She got problems. She took a pill.
And the funny thing is, here's a group of highly educated professional journalists, no big thing, and at the drop of the hat they just lose it over like some crazy like, I don't even know. And the cameraman? The cameraman didn't help it and here he goes, zooming in on their mouths, watching them laugh, oh. and like, <laughs> then all of a sudden the video starts like going berserk, switching between them. That is it was so like, wild. so ridiculous. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> You're not going to believe this. Oh my god, look. Look. Oh my god, it's a UFO. Oh, no, don't look. start with I am that serious, again. look. You're, look. You're silly. Yeah, oh. no. Oh. Don't. Oh, sweet. And it is a girl driving. Oh, please. Oh, a beautiful human girl and she's waving at me. Oh. oh. And I'm sure she's winking at you now. Yes, too. do you see that? Yeah. Look, look, and I bet look, she's look, blowing look. kisses at you too. Do you see that too? Just look, please, you're not going to I look. don't see anything. Just look. I don't just stop, stop it is with right that. No, you. Just no. look, just look, just look. No, let me go. Ugh. Oh. Ugh. Oh. There's nothing there. Oh.
ma'am. We're getting reports. I know, I know. Negative Wilson, negative O'Brien, negative Cole, negative all. Just follow the protocols. Just follow the protocols. Sheesh, people. You only see nothing yet. Over. Washington is on the phone, man. Tell Washington to wait.
Channel Boo News, we've got some breaking news, quite shaking news actually. There seems to be a phenomenon of missing persons, uh, all women, over the last couple of nights. They seem to have all just disappeared from their beds while sleeping. Husbands don't know whether to panic or to be happy or sad, really. Let's cut over to field reporter Coco Kaku, where this husband had this to say. Thank you, John and Jane. This is Koko Kaku reporting from outside of Build. Today we have this gentleman whose wife has been missing. I just want to ask what happened and how he's feeling. Um, well, she's gone. For years I've been asking for someone to take my wife. They finally did it. I'm, I'm just ecstatic. I'm so happy. It's a power time. Somebody got her out my okay. crib. Okay. Woke up, she was gone. <laughs> I'm not even putting out any warning pictures. Christmas came early. As I'm single, I took off my wedding ring. It's, it's a wrap. Holla at me. You know my number. I'm gonna put. I'm going Thank to you. The club. There you have it, John and Jane. Going this to is Kaka Kaka. Thank you so much. I'm going to the club. Cut, cut, cut. Uh, Don't you feel upset, sir? I feel. Uh, uh. Yes. <laughs> I just, I just rolled over on the bed and she was gone. <laughs> Search warrant! I love her! Right, I'm so sorry about this, sir. There you have it. He's in a very deep pain. I'm so sorry to hear that. It was Coco Kaku reporting. Back to you guys, John and Jane. Ah, where is she? Wotaka! Oh, Why? Poor fellow. Find her! Authorities claim this has not happened before. Not in this strange fashion, anyway. And suspect foul play. Maybe even from the beyond. They're not ruling out the possibility of extraterrestrial activity and think maybe alien abductions are taking place. Mm hmm. Not surprisingly, experts at NASA have been consulted. Here with our science report is our scientific reporter with more on that part of the story. I would introduce him, but I'm not speaking to him. Good afternoon, I'm John Dutel, here to tell you the latest on this UFO phenomenon and alien abductions that have been occurring in this, our great city. Well, alleged uh, UFOs, anyway. People are already conjecturing, and some even reporting strange sights that I believe Hmm. They, they believe, are visitors from beyond, from other worlds, and, and, all right, I believe it too, and there is evidence, yes, even NASA has evidence, because I've seen it, I have, I have seen it, and I believe, yes, I believe, so, look, there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. So don't be. Oh, no! Stop! God, I love this guy.
missing person. You and you and phenomena. Alien abduction. Visitors from beyond. Extraterrestrial activity. From other worlds. This husband has this to say. Find, 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 find. I see something. There you go again, Cole. Always seeing things. Maybe they're intelligent and civil, you know. Maybe they come in peace and stuff. You remember E.T. Close Encounters? That's a negative, Cole. Tour and scale. Just follow the protocol. Just follow the protocol.
As far as I know, I was just sleeping, like a normal sleep. But I knew something was happening, but I wasn't scared. Even though it wasn't familiar, I just felt like me, the real me inside. And like these foreign people, they were aware of me and understood me. Well, this may sound a little strange or silly. I was able to notice my Latinaness. And it seemed they also recognized that and were curiously charmed. And I felt we were all special. Not only us girls that were in the UFO, but everyone on the planet, even the guys, and even those with disabilities and without a voice. They seemed like ambassadors and they were generous with their positive energy. As I started hovering out of my bed and through the window, I knew that I was going into an unfamiliar territory, but I had a certain peace about me. I kept that feeling throughout the entire process, even though there were these large gizmos all around me. I woke up at some point during the empowerment and everything felt like I was at peace. And then I flew out. I understand the scientific community is anxious to analyze what we've been given by our new friends. Luckily, the new lab is prepared for the new research. As Dr. Suresh says, we built big and the big guys did come. So far, at least for me personally, I feel a peace about myself, my career, my marriage, and just myself, a general sense of peace. And I feel hopeful about the future. And I like high heels now. First of all, being lifted from the bed and going over the buildings was exhilarating. It was fun. And I wasn't scared at all, even when going into the UFOs. There's such power in that thing. It was quiet and soft and, but not overwhelming. A lot of stuff was going on. And they seem proud of us. And now that I can fly, oh my God, I love that song. <laughs> I believe that I can fly. And that disco classic, Fly Robin Fly. Well, of course, I'm going to use a powerful good. With a great power comes great responsibility. Yes. So there was this electric current and that was very powerful, but still sophisticated. And it didn't hurt me. Actually, I felt empowered by that. And I knew that I don't have to use my wheelchair any longer. But I didn't want others to think that I abandoned them. We all fly in different ways. And we are all unique. We are all super in, in our unique ways. Yeah, even you, even you, you and me. So I decided to continue using it. Like another part of me just was making decisions instead of me. Decisions I had never considered before. Those people were speaking to me without words. And they didn't do that to influence me. They just did it to acknowledge me. So our exiting the UFO was like coming back to, to finish life, as if life was a mission, but not only for us girls, but for everyone on the planet. So if they communicate by thoughts, I think I heard them thinking they came now as if on a schedule 
and they knew who to bring up, like if there were some grand unfolding narrative we're a part of, but I felt they received something too. I think they validated our vanities and their wives are gonna learn something when these guys get back home. Oh yes. The funniest thought just occurred to me. Right. <laughs> For a moment, I imagined them in front of a vanity set or intrigued by a vanity set. You know, lipstick and earrings and watching their wives enjoy that and wearing high heels and using makeup and looking in a mirror. <laughs> now, I don't know that that's what they'll do, but it gave me a whole new appreciation for my own vanities, which I no longer consider vain. They certainly thought it was something enriching and meaningful. I don't understand. All these pretty little buttons and I just don't get it. Hey honey, how was your day? Well, all day long, I've been um, wanting to get the manual for this new thing and uh, I know we set some money aside for it, um, but it's not, um, but it's just not there. Where, where is it? What happened to it? Well, I wanted to surprise you, so I kind of went a little crazy, you know me, poquito loca, and I got this. You like it? It's not bad. The design to this new game is really important to us jet pilots, and they're selling really, really fast. So I'll be lucky to get one, even before the holidays are over. I like it. Jackson and Bird already got theirs and think our next generation of jets should emulate the design. So it's not just for fun and games. And what about this design? It's not bad, but I really need to get that thing pronto. Hey. Consequently, the volatility is increased by the new engagement. This type of event is found to enable a dynamic interaction that is not only unscripted, but that facilitates new activity between here and there, between the this and the other. It's like the birds that eat from the air, manna from heaven, angels food, you know, stuff like that. What the heck is he saying? He thinks they got some good stuff. Why can't he just say so? There's a gray area in every event though, that could easily go this way or that, depending on a number of factors that exist at the time. I still can't believe that's our Joe. Okay, let's go look at some more unbelievable science. Very good, doctor. Let's go, agents. So it's not a coincidence that the lab is an air spot? Mostly, all those things are not coincidence. I was hoping for a prettier spot and, you know, a pretty office and everything. Maybe a nice view, too. We're on the front lines, ahead of the pack. We go crude, mostly. It is because of us that others can't have pretty offices. Anyway, you still have your pretty place near hubby, Captain Cole. 
Ladies, welcome to the agency. Oh my! <laughs> so no official ceremony or anything? This is that. Plus whatever we covered earlier. Covert and crew. Right, Chief? Yep. That's how we roll, girls. Get used to it. Sir, I'm so honored. Me too. Okay, let's go see the tree. tree. Yep, this is Fanny's tree. And now it's our tree too, right Chief? That's correct. And it opens right here on this side. Now what about these other trees? Anything we should know? Maybe, maybe. I think it's that one right over there. No, it can't be. It's too narrow. Maybe it stretches and widens. Very good. And maybe more than just Supergirls come out of them. It could be tools or anything. Very, very good girls. Now you're thinking unconventionally. Now you're thinking. Hey, what's that? Don't be alarmed. We've been watching them. And let me tell you now, it's not going to be all fun and games. Nevertheless, we ain't behind nothing. Check this out. Oh my. You have to see this. What do you mean? Oh my, my, my. <laughs> oh my. Oh man. Oh my. Oh man. The technology reveals notable differences in the cellular makeup. It's really like manna from heaven. It's like bees and honey. We'll be rich. Yep. We're going to be rich. Yep. Comes with the territory. Ain't nothing wrong with that. <laughs> hey, what's up, bro? Hey, what's up, Skip? How's everything? Awesome. How you doing? Oh, living life, man. Going shopping with the missus. Great to see you. Wow, I wish I could go shopping with my wife. You're one lucky lady, you know that? Thank you. No, I'm the lucky one, you know what I'm saying, Skip? I can tell by the way you're holding her. Yeah. Yeah, I ain't gonna let her go anywhere. Beautiful. All right, well, hey, stop by for a game later, right? Oh, yeah, right? I'll do that. Yeah, all right. All right, Skip. Good to see you. Uh, you the man, bro. You the man. No, you the man. No, you the man. No, I'm just trying to be the man. They got one just for you, baby. You know I got pulled. Mm. It's right over here. And it's all on me. Okay. Let's go a little further down. But they got the thing that you wanted with your name on it. Yeah, it's not going anywhere. We'll get it another time. Okay, surprise me. Well, honey, I'm getting you Blue Glow. <laughs> Baby Blue Glow? Yep, Blue Glow by JLo. And I know you like blue. That's why I fly, baby. Yeah, you're gonna fly her, right? <laughs> so, how are things with the little lady? Yeah, my wife? Ah, oh, man. Everything's totally changed. Life is beautiful. Everything's just working beyond my dreams. I'm a new man. I'm a new man. <laughs> oh, that's great. That is so wonderful, hmm? Couldn't happen to a better guy. You deserve it, bro. I'm happy for you too, Cole. Great to hear it. 
All right. Tour and scale. How can you be so athletic and agile and not know how to dance? Here, let me show you better. <laughs> I actually can dance a little bit, but I can't concentrate. I was weak and slow. But then one day I found a toy in our backyard and discovered that it gave me the ability to travel in different dimensions and visit other planets. Then I became empowered and began to notice improvement in everything. I even began to fly! So I tried to help people. So, can I check it out? Sure. <laughs> well, don't point it at me. It looks like it's looking at me. It has some strange writing on it. Eh, it's not so special. Thank you.